Hey everyone. We had an interesting request on our other relay video. We had a user that wanted to know if we could wire it up so that when they press the brake pedal in their car, it would make an actuator move up. And when they take their foot off the brake pedal, it would make the actuator move down. So we've actually uh, we've done the wire, redone the wiring diagram. The switch here in this case uh, actually it's the brake pedal for all intents and purposes, and it's positive power from the brake pedal that is toggling these relays, okay? Now, the interesting thing about this diagram is that it's not on or off. It's actually always sending current one direction or sending current the opposite direction. So when you have your foot off the brake pedal, the actuator is always moving down. It's only the limit switch on the actuator that's gonna stop it. Uh, same with if you kept your foot on the brake. If you kept your foot on the brake for five minutes, this actuator would continue to move up and it's only the limit switch that would stop it. So the way we've gone through and we've simulated that, uh, we've actually used this uh, free online simulation software. So you can go to this website, you can draw this up and do this yourself, or I'm going to try and include the text here in the, uh, in the text below, and you can just paste that into the simulator and it'll give you the exact diagram you see here. So what we represent here is we've got a brake pedal, we've got positive power coming from the brake pedal, we have two relays, we have an actuator, and then we have power from the battery. And what you're gonna see here is power is gonna travel down on the right-hand side through the actuator and back out. When we press the brake pedal, the current's gonna actually switch directions and come from the left side and go out the right side. So for all intents and purposes, that would actually change the direction of the actuator. So if we run this simulation here, you can see current coming in the right side, moving over to the left side. As soon as I hit the brake pedal, it switches directions, okay? And we, we can keep doing this back and forth. Now, the reason I don't recommend doing this is because if one of these relays fails and these gates don't close, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a short in the system. So you have to make sure there's fuses in here. The proper way to do this is use a double pull, a double throw relay, which has these joined together and synchronized. That means it would either work or it wouldn't work, but it wouldn't half work and blow a fuse. But once again, if we close the brake pedal, what you see is the little arms inside the relays, the magnets come on, and those little arms switch directions. So if we go back to our original diagram, what we're using here is we're using positive power from the brake to trigger the relays to change state. Now, for those of you that aren't sure how these relays work, this is a single five pin relay. Um, it doesn't matter if you put positive to pin 85 or 86 or vice versa. These are the two pins you use to change the state of the relay. And what that means is in state number one, pin 30 is connected to 87. When you change the state, pin 30 now becomes connected to 87A. So all you're actually doing is toggling back and forth between pin, pin 30 being connected to 87 or 87A. And that's all that's actually happening here in this relay, okay? So let me know if you guys wire this up. Let me know if it works or if I've missed something here. We can uh, change up the diagram. Thanks for watching.